All right, we're back. No more dirty tricks of combinations of engines and stuff. We'll get into that later. You know I always got dirty tricks. All right, so we're going to take this from the top. Set this amplitude up. Put it on 84. I don't know. This is what I just set it to. This is arbitrary. I told you that. When you start to get into instrumental uh, development, you're going to want to play with dynamics. We'll get into that later as well because every instrument has its own type of dynamics or similar dynamic. Like a harpsichord is similar to like a piano because it's made, first of all, it looks and is built similar to a piano, but you know, it's kind of like a plucky instead of a hammer hitting a string as opposed to the plectrum <coughs> plucking the string, excuse me. I may cough or sneeze or something. I have allergies, I'm sorry. All right, let's do a little particle collision. So we're setting the LFO one to both oscillator pulse with sources. Uh, oscillator one is plus 63, oscillator two is negative 64. And the reason why is because oscillator one is pulse width of zero and two is 127. They're both on a crescent. We don't want it on meth right now. We want to slow them up, put it on that syrup. Now this sounds kind of full. Now that's a basic, that's a basic early trick. All right. That's how you get them to sing a little bit with a little bit of harmony. A little bit of detail. 16. Now, go to filter one, set up the key. Make sure it's on bypass though. Make sure both filters are on bypass for this mode. All right, go to filter one and two, set both their key trackings to 100%. You know the deal. Because we're getting ready to set up bandpass radio, but we're going to actually put it on your magnifying glass. That's reflection. The magnifying mirror. Glass mirror. You can see yourself in glass if it's dark, right? Alright, so we turn the cutoff to 71 on the filter 2. We turn the resonance up to 72 on filter 2. Now we'll turn the bandpass on because that's the mirror. FM source needs to be oscillator one, we'll crank it up. Here's what happens. Turn it down to antimatter. So let's go on to more interesting stuff because we've already have we you guys already have crescents and blah blah blah. So let's turn on sinusoid. <laughs> Now, turn envelope amount to 63 on uh, filter 1. And we want the filter envelope to shut down so poor man's drive and the FM source to be something. So, whatever, what have you. LFO 1 for me. Turn the cutoff down to like 59. Right? Set that reso up. To 113, so it's oscillating itself. 
like every cell in your body resonates and oscillates and spins a certain amount of hertz frequency this is what happens <laughs> some particles okay remember they have their own signal they're making their own signal but now that you have the filter doing something which is ultimately the output if it's ultimately the output then it will ultimately dictate the fundamental the fundamental would ultimately be the sound wave because without this uh, the sine wave excuse me not the sound wave the sine wave the sound wave is what we get after all this procedure is actually done. The sine wave is the foundation of all sound. Without the sine wave, we have nothing. So, yeah. <clears throat> LFO has 0% key tracking, it is acting like an envelope. So we are playing this in envelope mode. That'll be for not right now. I probably can't run that episode right now or that information in this episode. I wouldn't want to do that. I mean, I could probably display it and stuff like that, but when you're starting to play with the clocked you you kind of want to start understanding like no placement or and or bars and understand that within a bar this is how many notes will be you know what i mean like oh i mean i swear music is like a lot of math and a lot of explaining and just that and the other like i can't i don't want to do this right now i'm sorry <laughs> particles all the way up. See how it goes? like a sink ish type of noise and you get that easy with guillotine because it's already at a slope slippy sloper right so like all right let's just check my time frame here oh man i gotta stretch it out oh man uh boy just getting hungry probably gotta make some food here in a minute and then jump back on here take a little break Oh man, excuse me, I had to stretch it out real quick. Alright, so yeah, you get the little slippy slope on the guillotine. Now let's turn it on bricks. Oops, I went to the choir. Oh, there we go. <laughs>
six sinusoid and I have 192 uh, bricks particles. So all together we have 198. So what you have to understand is when you're playing with particles, depending on the footage, it depends on how many particles you're actually playing with. So if you're running two oscillators with this, then rest assured you're, you're playing with some weird numbers. But then that's up to you to add this type of stuff up. And you can add it up. I mean, I already had this stuff on diagram. When the codex comes out, I mean, I'm telling you it's all going to be in here. I mean, why would, why would I leave it out? But this is stuff I need to get to you guys like right now, though. Because those who have particles and those who will have them, because I know more will come once they recognize, you know, because I got to make them recognize humbly. I do this humbly because, listen, this is a very humble box. It's very... You know, even the keyboard's very humble, it's very discreet. You know, it's kind of like the thing that sits on the desk, almost looks like a paperweight, and it's very, very uh, underrated. But I'd like to beg to differ and overrate this thing and, and um, oh, man, and just bring out the best in it. You know, just like we all should try to bring out the best in ourselves. You know, always strive to become better. Always strive to learn. Yeah, that's my uh, that's my thing. That's that's why I'm really the master of the master student. I'm always studying, and then I share my notes with you. This is how I do it. So 198. So if we add in, so now at two feet, that's 48 and 192. Together, that's uh, 198. Together, that's uh, hold up. Wait, am I right? Hold up. Wait, I said that's on two foot and it's a half a foot. Yeah. All right. I'm looking at the wrong one. 240, man. Flip. 